It is in one's own mind, not their enemy or foe, that lures them to evil ways, said the Buddha. As I feared, our emperor had indeed changed. The seed of self-righteousness, planted long ago and nurtured by uninterrupted success, had begun to bear fruit. In Devapala's mind, the ends now justified the means, no matter how terrible or costly. And so he ordered a campaign to the south to subjugate the Pandyas, a proud people who were former allies and trading partners of his, and bring them the teachings of the Buddha. When word of this reached me, I burst into my emperor's chambers, begging him to reconsider. Needless aggression is not the mark of a virtuous ruler, I said and forced conversion only thickens the resolve of a people against the creed. I told him that this war would cost thousands of lives and bring suffering to countless more. But the words that once guided him towards the path of light now fell on deaf ears. It is as one nears the summit of the mountain that the footing becomes most treacherous. Now all I could do was helplessly watch as the armies of a tyrant descended upon a new victim. Your wish is my command, cousin. I will bring Hi. the feeble pandyas to heal, whatever the cost. I am not so sure about this venture, Venerable Devapala. War only creates more dissatisfaction and suffering, not less. Adesh Katuria. Our ability to obtain supplies is limited. We should look to the sea for food and plunder the contents of enemy castles. If you must conquer these lands, please do so as swiftly and as bloodlessly as you can. Every drop of blood spilled is a step away from your enlightenment. For once, there is sense in the advisor's words. If we construct a fleet, we can level the Pandya fortifications from the sea. <laughs> Pandya Castle. The land that it defended is ours now.
Bala armies venturing this far south? What are you doing there, Bala? Tomar Shebai, Amizaye, Kumar Gunsman, Adish Turi. Amizai, Turia Hoy Hoy We have leveled the Pandia Castle. The land that it defended is ours now. The Pandia lands will fall, and then what? Will you enforce your dogmatic rule? Amizaye. Goodbye, Marsha. Ami Buzo. Amizaye. Hi, Mohash. Hi. Adesh, I'm Jai. Shottore. Hi. Hi. Tomar Shiba. Ostro Tarum Kuru Tomar Shiba Amuzai Kuluwa Kamu Shoto Hoi Amuzai तो यार तो यार खानून कारी हे खानून कारी आदेश A good conqueror is not a butcher. Your conduct has inspired monks to bring the word of the Buddha to your nose. We have leveled the Pandya Castle. The land that it defended is ours now. 
The Pandia lands are ours now, cousin. Your glory knows no bounds. Adesh Shukto. This is outrageous! Domanshi. We will not sit idly by as you oppress our neighbors. Horid Navete. महाशय बुझो अस्त्र धारण करो lies in ruins secure the buildings and continue our thrust into enemy territory hana deho 
Will the supplies that you plunder be enough to feed your starving আমি যাই Castle lies in ruins. Secure the buildings and continue our thrust into enemy territory. Are you going to kill me, Devapala? Kunwaga? Amizaye. Hoi Mohashoi. তোমার সেবায় আমি যাই
Mother hail oh, from these me. lands, oh, Your invasion spits on her memory. Destroy this great temple. And for what? Lord Buddha weeps while the gods shut up their eyes in scorn. Your marauding will not break the resolve of my people. You only lose what you cling to, said the Buddha. Devapala found that to be all too true. The more he tightened his grip on the south, the more it, or perhaps more accurately its ashes, slipped through his fingers. My emperor and his bellicose cousin had created a nightmare. There was no cheer or pride to be felt. As the Pala army struck its tents and began the long march back home, the stench of death and smoke choked the air, punctuated by the haunting wares of the broken people that my emperor and his forces left behind. Tormented by the recognition of his arrogance and its price, Devapala breathed not a single word during the entire week-long journey home. <laughs> 